including our mass attention today, our prayer for Manuel de la Rosa. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of all Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, welcome to this first day of our Misa de Cario. With that, we offer our praise and thanksgiving to God for the graces and gifts that we have received. As we prepare ourselves for the coming birth, we also we prepare ourselves for the second celebration by acknowledging our sinfulness and asking God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you bring glad tidings to the poor. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you heal the brokenhearted. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to rejoice in you always. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the coming solemnity of your Son may bestow healing upon us in this present life and bring us the rewards of life eternal. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord, there is no other. I formed the light and created the darkness. I make well-being and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. Let justice descend, O heavens, like dew from above, like gentle rain let the skies drop it down. Even the earth open, let the earth open, and salvation bud forth. Let justice also spring up. I, the Lord, have created this. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth, who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. Who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old? Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word, to me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. Let the earth clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. The Lord himself will give his benefits 
our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. Let the clouds, cry, let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. Raise your voice and tell the good news. Behold, the Lord God comes with power. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? When the men came to the Lord, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to ask. For you, the one who is to come, or should we look for another? At that time, Jesus cured many of their diseases, sufferings, and evil spirits. He also granted sight to many who were blind. And Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind regain their sight. The lame walk. Lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. The Gospel of the Lord. As we start with our Novena of Masses, preparing ourselves for the coming celebration of Christmas. We move on with this Advent journey as we experience a lot of things happening around us, most especially during this pandemic crisis that we are into. It may not be the same celebration as we had years before. However, this doesn't mean that Christmas should not be celebrated anymore. In fact, with the situations around us, we are given all the more the opportunity to prepare ourselves spiritually for the coming of Christ's birth, most especially his incarnation in each and every one of our lives. There may be doubts, there may be confusions, there may be things that would make us question about the possibility of the coming salvation or the coming redemption. Today's gospel reading gives us the message about how we should be firm in our faith and how we should be able to identify Jesus in our lives. John the Baptist from his cell prison sent his emissaries in order to ask whether the one he heard of who, what Jesus has been doing is really the one he expected to be the Messiah. 
Well, John on his part had already announced the coming of the Messiah. However, in his mind, the Messiah would be a fiery prophet with a winnowing pork and gathering the wheat into the barn, burning the shop. But this is not what Jesus had come to show. As John heard about the miracles that Jesus had done, and as John had heard about people going to Jesus, he wanted to check the identity of Jesus. So the messengers asked Jesus, John sent us, are you the one who is to come? We may say that there was doubt on the part of John. However, with Jesus' answer, there comes the truth revealing himself as he came to make the blind see, to make the lame walk, and to make the deaf hear. These are some of the things that Jesus had come to do, his liberating action. Perhaps in our doubts too, which is part of a human life, this doubt hopefully would give us that great hope that Jesus is indeed will be coming in our lives. We may come to recognize the presence of Jesus and truly affirm his identity when in our own experiences we have also come to be transformed through his presence in our lives. We have been blinded because of our sinfulness. And yes, Jesus has always been there to offer us the sight, to offer us to see what the truth is and to be able to make us see his presence in the midst of the people. He has made us see how sin would really separate us from God. And with that sight, we are being offered the gift of reconciliation, making us see how God loves us so much. We may not be physically lame, but then we have walked different paths, different ways where we have been led out or away from our Lord Jesus. And with his transforming power, we have been led into the path of righteousness. Jesus has come to transform us. We may have been deaf because of the noisy things that are going around with what the world is offering. But Jesus has come through his transforming power to open our ears that we may hear his word. With his message of love, may we be able also to convey the message to our brothers and sisters, not only through the words that we speak, but through our actions. With this, we can really affirm that Jesus is indeed the Messiah. We are given the, also the opportunity to become channels. With people asking, why, Lord, these things are happening? Why are people suffering? Why is this pandemic? Some others must have lo lost their hopes. Yet, we may not be able to see the physical presence of Jesus, but we are called forth to be his channels in order that people may be able to see and feel God's love. We thank the Lord for the gift of his love 
and for the blessings that we have received as we are also given the chances to be able to share this gift of love and blessings to our brothers and sisters, most especially for those who are in need. We continue with our prayers and we ask the Lord that his presence in our life may lead us always to proclaim that he is the Savior, he is our Redeemer, and may he always be born in our hearts. God bless you. With rejoicing hearts full of faith, we pray without ceasing. For the Church during this holy season of Advent, that we testify to Christ by rejoicing in Him always. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> Lord hear our prayer. For our country during this winter month, that we serve the poor and needy in a spirit of Christian charity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who are distressed about the upcoming holidays, that they may join with others in establishing new joyful memories. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> Lord hear our prayer. For all of us who form this worshiping assembly, that we may be united in prayer and thanksgiving to God. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> Lord hear our prayer. And for the eternal repose of Manuel de la Rosa, we pray to the Lord. <laughs> o oh God, you have done great things for us. Strengthen us as we follow John the Baptist's call to change our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all these holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again to in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest 
we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son and the highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy Lord, found of all holiness. Make holy therefore the scripture pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, Salvatore, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with Saint Bruno, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but to the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Hurry, the Lord is near. Alleluia. Sound the trumpet, the Lord is near. Hurry, the Lord is near. 
See, he comes to save us all. Hurry, the Lord is near. Alleluia. Hurry, the Lord is near.